Yeah, yeah, we can do that. For UF grad student Monica Desai, a side business is doing well. She sells customized watches under the brand Trendy Time. So I used to work in the uh, Orlando Premium Outlets. I sold everything pretty much there. But what I found was that the watches were an item that were low enough cost for me to invest in, but that they were growing like so quickly. Desai and a few other young entrepreneurs showed their products today at U.S. Plaza of the Americas. According to Forbes, America has more than 22 million self-employed small business people like Monica. Success is difficult. Half of all ventures fail in the first five years, but experts say a good plan can make the difference. I personally don't think the economy has anything to do with it. Information is power. The more information you have, the better off you are. Information is clear and costless and available to you in a volume you almost can't consume. And that makes starting a business easier. Starting with a business can be tough, as a lot of these young entrepreneurs know. But sometimes the most basic advice can be the most beneficial. Number one, get yourself in. Nobody can do it all. And you probably don't have all the skills that's needed. Maybe you have one, but say you're a little closer, right? From a sales standpoint. Well, do you have any market expertise? I have to give credit to uh, some really good friends that I have, and they worked with me, they stood with me on university, helped sell watches just out of their own good. It's definitely, it's been a good journey. Jason Spain, WUFT News. Since 1995, small businesses have generated over 65% of new jobs in the United States. According to Forbes, over 500,000 new businesses get started each month, but more than that shut down.